Hello, welcome back. It is August 12th, it is your third day of school. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'd like for you to do is complete your getting started activity, which uh, you can find if you click on these minions. We've got Kevin, Bob, and Stuart. So let's click on the minions and it will take you to an Edpuzzle activity. And the Edpuzzle activity is five presentation tips. Let's see what they have for us. Okay, so this um, how this will work if you have not used Edpuzzle before is you will um, watch the video. So you're gonna press play and notice these little stops here in the video. Uh, those are questions. So you're gonna watch the video, five tips for delivering a great online presentation. And when it gets to this little stop, it will pause and it will ask you a question. You can see there are four questions total and all of them are multiple choice. So um, this activity should take you about five, five and a half minutes or so. So I'd like you to go ahead and get going on the Ed Puzzle. So again, five and a half minutes or so. And uh, let me know if you have questions about it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on now that the Ed Puzzle is complete or should be about complete. And we have our learning goal for the day. So today you will use technology to deliver a getting to know you presentation. So you will adapt your speech to demonstrate a command of formal academic English. So if you're watching this, it probably means you were absent and you missed the lesson. So what that means for you is when you come back, to school, you will be presenting your slideshow, your getting to know you slideshow presentation. And so this way you already have all the background information you need. All right. So getting to know you, right? That's the slideshow that you guys have been working on for the last three days. And uh, basically what's going to happen during your presentation, I will display your presentation for you. So I'm going to go to Google Classroom, because again, that was supposed to be turned in before class started. I'm gonna go to Google Classroom. I'm gonna open up a presentation. And if it's your presentation on the screen, then you will be the one presenting. And so you'll want to go ahead and make sure you unmute and follow the presentation tips. You will let me know when you would like me to change your slide. Um, your presentation will be worth 10 points. So be sure that you Think about how you can earn those points and following the five presentation tips, right? And all of these tips came from the Ed Puzzle activity. If you follow these presentation tips, then you should get the best score. So when you think about your setting, and if possible, I would like you to present with your camera on. Uh, that is the best way because then we can actually see you presenting your slide about yourself. If you are super duper uncomfortable with um, inviting us into your home, which I completely understand, then you can keep your camera off, okay? But if you are having your camera on, I want you to think about your setting, your background, the sound, and the lighting. Now, even if you don't have your camera on, you definitely need to think about the sound in your background. Is there, um, is there a dog barking? Are there a lot of people talking in your background? So if there is, what you're going to need to do is try your best to find a quiet place to present. And I know that that can be hard because many of you have a lot of siblings and, um, and some of you have no siblings, but you have parents that are working from home. And so it's, it's hard to find a quiet space. So uh, going outside might be a good option for that. Uh, again, it's just for the presentation. Okay, so think about those things. Making sure that you're standing up. Like when you're presenting, it's really great to stand up if you can, because when you're standing, you 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 feel, um, I guess, stronger and more empowered. And also you can get a more clear voice when you're standing. If you choose not to stand up, make sure that you sit up nice and tall. And so um, you aren't like squishing your diaphragm where your voice comes from. And if you do stand up, your camera needs to be eye level. So make sure you move that Chromebook up with you. This is these, this one here, so important, right? You must have rehearsed your presentation. Like obviously the presentation is about yourself, but you need to make sure that you know what what's coming next on the on the slide and and um what's the next slide and and so you feel confident when you're presenting so the more you rehearse the more confident you will feel 
If you are going to turn on your camera, make sure you're not in your pajamas, right? I know we're on distance learning and it's super comfy to stay in your jammies all day, but you should be ready for school, right? I mean, that's, it's, it's also very important when you get up to go to school, it's good to just go in and get dressed and, and that way you feel more ready for the day. But for your presentation, you'll want to, uh, if you choose to show us and turn on your camera, make sure that you're dressing to impress. And then number five is all of the information in your slide. So you have your paragraph about yourself. So the supporting information, right, the, the picture, it should be interesting. The pictures that you choose for your top five favorite things that bring you happiness, the picture should be interesting. So make sure that your, your background is interesting, how you decide to design your slideshow is interesting. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give you five minutes to practice your presentation and also to prepare it to make sure it's fully ready to go. You have five minutes to tidy it up. Um, it should be already turned in, but basically if you need to add a couple little things just because you thought of it right now, go ahead and unsubmit it and then make sure you resubmit it when this five minutes is up. Make sure you have your background ready, you practice, all of that. All right, so five minutes. All right, that's the fastest five minutes, right? Okay, so it would be time to present. Basically now uh, we would be going through all of the slideshows, the getting to know you information, students would be sharing about themselves and their, their, their peers, their classmates, and also myself as the teacher, I would be having the opportunity to get to know my students on distance learning. And the last thing that we will do for today's lesson is a reflection. It's, it's very important that after presenting, students reflect on their own presentation and also the presentations of their classmates. And so today, guys, after you finish your presentation, you're going to complete the school form and you're going to reflect on your presentation. What did you do well? What, what could you have improved upon? And then I also want you to choose one of your classmates' presentations that you found to be the most interesting seeing the most um, maybe is the most creative right something that stood out done after you finish your presentation reflection on the Google form right you can click on the Google form on the slideshow then we're going to go ahead and go over to the last slide which are things that you need to do so after we get off this Google Meet, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to Edpuzzle. Actually, you'll go to Google Classroom. The Edpuzzle activity is posted on Google Classroom, and you need to complete this Edpuzzle activity, unpacking the embedded assessment, before tomorrow. Okay, so that is due tomorrow. Um, we are going to be talking about the embedded assessment tomorrow, and you need to be prepared for it. So make sure you get that done. I'm going to walk you through on this Edpuzzle activity. I will walk you through the assignment for the embedded assessment. And just in case you're wondering what is an embedded assessment, that is the final, the, the test that you're going to take basically for the unit. And this isn't actually a test. It is an essay that you're going to write, a narrative essay. So it's technically a short story. And you're going to write that for this embedded assessment. You will also need to have the graphic organizer, which accompanies the said puzzle activity, and that will also be due tomorrow. So make sure that that is noted. All right. Well, as always, make sure you ask if you have any questions. I'm here to help and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. All right. Have a great day. Bye.